Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at three amazing hidden features as a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. Now we're still a part of the beta of Samsung One UI 6.0 and I've already shown off every single brand new feature. I've even made a video on the top 10 features. If you want to check those out, I'll link them below the video inside the description. But in this video, we're going to take a look at three hidden features that you've probably never seen on any other video on YouTube to date. And the first one that we want to cover is inside of Wi-Fi. Now, once you go inside of your Wi-Fi connections here, one of the things you will notice for anything that's available, you'll actually be able to see them from what is uh, the strongest down to the weakest connections. You can actually fully customize this to where you can only see maybe the strong ones. You can either make it show more, medium, or less. You'd also be able to walk around your entire house to see where it's actually the str most strength, when it's the most weakest, and also to a whole bunch of other statistics. So what you want to do is once you get inside of the Wi-Fi, settings very top right hand side you want to click on this option here that's called intelligent Wi-Fi now on the very bottom of intelligent Wi-Fi it's gonna say this right here intelligent Wi-Fi 6.0.0 and if you have an older version of Samsung one UI which I'm pretty sure you probably do this one may say a different number but you can still do this you can still tap it six or seven times and it's going to unlock some type of labs now this labs here is called connectivity labs in terms of Samsung one UI 6.0 and this one has been updated and changed and I love the view and look of this all of the details that you ever want to know about anything with your connection via Wi-Fi so this is letting me know which one I'm connected to when I connected to it if I've used it more or less than yesterday I can take a look at the graphs in terms of my time used it'll actually just show it right down here basically if your Wi-Fi was on and also to if you were connected even the usage letting you know how much you have used and then when you scroll down you can take a look at the bands and the standards now this right here is letting you know when you have been connected to the 2.4 gigahertz band now this one has a really good strength to it it can go all the way across your house um, but it's not going to be as fast as the 5 gigahertz now this one won't go as far it won't really penetrate as many walls but it's going to be much much quicker and you can see how long you've been connected to either one now below the bands you're going to have the standard so you have wi-fi 4 wi-fi 5 and wi-fi 6 so you can see which ones i've connected to and more than likely this is right here at home i am wi-fi 6 i've been connected to wi-fi 6 for a little over 119 hours now you can also take a look at some of your network information for the saved networks you can see which ones is unused used or unsecured so if you go to work or if you go to a library all the time they're going to be inside of here uh, you can also go through and you can uh, get rid of some of those if you want to you can delete some of them so you don't want to have as many saved networks but this right here this one's a home wi-fi inspection so this is where you can actually go inside of it and you'd be able to see where it's strong and weak throughout the house now there's a few different areas of this that i do have to black out uh, just because it's going to show my mac address and such but anywho i'm going to show you what it looks like right here now once you choose your wi-fi connection i actually have two of them in the house we have a 2g and a 5g it just kind of depends on which room is using which band uh, so basically you can see that one of them is going to be super super you know really good connection which i'm actually in the room of the 2g which is why it's so strong of a connection that's why it's on the very very top now this one down here is pretty much my 5g connection and where the actual modem is located is actually in the garage further away from this room here it's actually on the other side of a cement wall which is why this one is going to be a little bit lower so this is my 5g connection this is my 2g now if i was to actually walk to a different part of the house these ones will actually kind of flip-flop or move kind of towards the center so currently the one that i would rather be connected to is going to be this this 2g one so then this way you kind of know which one you should actually connect to if you find that you're having a little bit slower internet or weaker connection now after that one you can actually go right here which is customize the wi-fi list settings now the cool thing in here is if you remember we had a full list of a bunch of them so let's say that we want to show less but also show the band information so now what's going to happen is let's say that we go all the way back i'm going to go right back inside of the wi-fi and now you can see here it's actually letting me know what the band is and more than likely it should only show me like one or two connections to actually connect to so it looks as if we have just a few of them these ones up over here is going to be the strong connections and then the rest that were weak is not there so it's not going to show as many and it is letting me know if it's 5 gigahertz or the 2.4 now if you are looking on a past version of samsung one ui this is probably what you're looking at which is the wi-fi developer options and the wi-fi developer options is still here 
it's pretty cool. It's There's a few fun things you can do, but it wasn't as great as this screen here, which is Connectivity Labs. Hidden feature number two is one that's very helpful inside of the gallery if there is albums that you would like to hide. So maybe you have some work sensitive documents, maybe some Christmas gifts that you don't want your kids to take a look at. So when you go inside of the gallery, you can go on the very bottom right hand side and then you go inside of settings and inside of here, what you can do is when you go inside of about gallery, you want to tap on this version about three times or four times, then it's going to unlock gallery labs. Now inside of gallery labs, one of the cool things you can do is as you scroll down, you're going to see this option here, which is album entry locks. So you actually have a album entry locks with lock screen credentials. Note that it shall not provide secure service or access control of multimedia contents. Now, if you have the secure folder from Samsung, it's gonna be more secure than this and there's backups and such. But this one right here is just basically hiding the album artwork in a way that it's able to lock an album that the only way you can get in is with your lock screen credentials. So let's say that this one right here, this is an album of maybe Christmas gifts that we would like to hide from the kids. What you're able to do is when you press and hold on this album, bottom right hand side, you're gonna see this option right here that says lock album and now it's locked. So now anybody who wants to take a look at this album, they're not able to. Even the little album artwork is not showing. It just shows a little lock symbol. In order for you to get into it, you have to know your lock screen credentials, either your pin, password, or even fingerprint. Now, once you're inside of here, if you wanted to unlock it, it's on the very top right hand side, and now you're able to unlock the album. Now, one of the things I do want to mention is when you go inside the gallery, you open this up, you head inside of settings, when you go into that about gallery and you tap on this version like three or four times, it'll say that gallery labs is unlocked. And when you go inside of here and you turn this on for the first time, you have to completely close out of the application. So then the next time that you open up the gallery, it will actually be activated to where now you're able to lock the album. Now hidden feature number three is one that I find to be very funny because Android 14 on the, on the Pixel devices are currently in beta and they don't even have this feature, but Samsung's version of Android 14 beta does have this and it gives you the ability of that predictive back screen. So what I mean by that is I'm inside of the settings and if I am swiping back, I can actually see what I am about to go back into before I actually get into that screen, which again, I think is actually pretty funny. Again, even before I even let go, it's showing me exactly where we are going to. So how you can activate this, again, on Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 beta, you wanna go inside your settings, you wanna scroll all the way down, and you wanna go inside of About Phone, and you just basically want to unlock developer options. Now, if you don't know how to unlock developer options, I'm gonna show it to you here in just a second. So all you have to do is go inside of About Phone, take a look at the software information page, and you see Build Number, and you wanna tap Build Number seven times. Once you do that, you go back two screens and that is where developer mode will sit. Now, once you're back inside of the screen where it shows developer options, this is where you wanna scroll down and it's almost towards the very bottom. Now on Samsung One UI 6.0, there's gonna be a really big indicator on the screen that lets you know you're getting close. And that is gonna be this thing right here. So this little big blue box or blue area, it's right after this. So once you see that, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit more and you see this option here, predictive back animations. So it enables system animations for predictive back, meaning when I am swiping backwards, it's showing me where I'm going. Now I've played with this for a little bit and it's not working with every single application. It's not working uh, on a bunch of different things, but it's there, it's, it's baked in there. I think they're gonna add it into more applications, but it's definitely working with the settings screens. And I don't know for sure if it's really working. Here, let's take a look at the camera. I don't know for sure if I looked at the camera. I'm pretty sure I did. So let's say that we take a look at this one right here and you can see that it's not working with the, with the stock camera. So my hope is that this will start coming you know, to every single app that's on the phone. But again, we are still sitting in beta, but it's pretty cool. Just imagine that you're on any screen and anytime that you start to swipe backwards, you're able to see where you're about to go. So those were three hidden and amazing features as a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. And if you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit and subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.